Hello everyone. My name is Naman Goyal, and this is lecture two of this chapter, statistics. Right? As I told you, statistics statistic is very important chapter. Okay. Okay. So in today's lecture, we are going to cover these topics. Okay. First is frequency polygon. See, in previous lecture, I already told you how to draw the graph of frequency polygon. Okay. We do a question in previous lecture. Okay. And in today's lecture, we also learn about how we draw the graphs of frequency polygon okay next is measure of central tendency see these three things are comes in the category of measure of central tendency first is mean then median and then we are going to learn about mode also okay so about these three things we are going to learn about in this lecture okay as i told you this graph shows what this graphs is in the form of <clears throat> is in the form of bar graph right okay so today we are going to start with frequency polygon a frequency polygon is a graph constructed by using lines to join the midpoints of each interval or bin okay the heights of the point represent the frequencies the height what the height represent of that point the frequency of that particular data okay the frequency polygon can be created from the histogram or by calculating the midpoint calculating the midpoints of the bins or intervals from the frequency distribution table okay so what we have to do listen what we have to do see if this histogram is given if this histogram is given for a particular data okay so what we have to do we have to find out the midpoints of this so for this one 140 to 145 145 is the midpoint see how we find the midpoints 140 plus 150 upon 2 so it will be what 290 divided by 2 it will be 145 so 145 is the midpoint similarly for 150 to 160 150 plus 160 upon 2 how much it is if you solve this you will get 155 is the midpoint same for this one and same for this one now see what we have to do we have to take the line before starting from this point okay so we have to take the midpoint of this point also 135 to 140 because the interval 135 to 140 is not given in not given in our table frequency distribution table so that's why we take the frequency as zero and same do for next one 190 180 to 190 okay not given in the frequency distribution table that's why we can take the frequency of that particular interval as zero are you getting my point okay now see we have a data what we have to do we have to in a batch 400 students are there the height of the students of the given is given in the following table represent it through a frequency polygon okay <clears throat> so see if you see for this particular data in x axis what we have to take height in centimeter and number of students on y axis students on y axis okay okay so if you see the interval is started from 140 so we started the interval from 140 but as i told you we have to take 130 also right now if you see the, this interval is uneven you non uniform so what we have to do we have to draw a kink sign over there so 140 150 160 170 180 and up to 190 right now the data is very large so we have to take difference of 20 we can take difference of 20 right on a y axis so 20 40 60 80 okay 100 120 140 160 or 180 right we can take like that okay now for 140 to 150 the bar is for 74 so 74 is come in this one right like this okay if you take a proper bar graph paper then you can draw a proper bars right 163 now next is what 163 163 is like this right 135 135 is there okay 
next is 28 28 is there and uh, for 180 to 190 there is no graph okay now what we have to do we have to find out the midpoints of these bars so <clears throat> for this one i can write down the midpoints here okay midpoint okay let me raise this yes now i can do midpoint okay see for 140 to 150 midpoint is what 140 plus 150 divided by 2 isn't it so i think it will be 145 right this is 155 this is 165 this is 175 right okay so we started from this point 145 like this right and uh, this is 185 and this is 135 so as i told you we started from zero so we have to draw the lines like this straight line huh? these are straight line okay so we got this graph okay if you use proper ceiling then you can got a proper graph let me show you how proper graph is look like so <clears throat> if you see these are the following steps see in paper you have to write down the steps also okay so that's why i'm going to tell you how we draw this graph the following steps steps lrl to be followed to construct a histogram from the given data okay now first is what the height are represented the heights are represented on the horizontal axis on a suitable scale as shown over, okay the number of student is represent on the vertical axis on a suitable scale as shown so height in centimeter is represented on horizontal axis and number of student is represented on vertical axis okay on a suitable scale as shown got it now rectangular bars of width equal to the class size the width of that rectangular bar is what 150 to 145 which is class size given in the table the length of the bar corresponding to the frequency of the class interval is drawn okay now as i told you first of all we have to draw the bars okay like this then after that what we have to do we have to find out the midpoints so at midpoint this is for 145 155 okay let me change the color yes 145 is the midpoint 155 is the midpoint 165 is the midpoint 175 and this is 185 okay and this is 130 this is 130 and this is 135 this point is 135 so what we have to do we have to join these points a b then b c then c d then d e and then e f so we got this graph as frequency polygon graph okay so in frequency polygon graph what we have to do we have to draw first histogram then with the help of that histogram we can draw frequency distribution graph are you getting my point so it is very easy to understand right okay now next topic is very important next topic is very important okay for your example point of view measures of central tendency okay measure of central tendency as i told you central tendency divided in three parts first is mean second is median third is what mode so we are going to learn about all these parts in this lecture okay okay so what is the meaning of measure of central tendency a measure of central tendency is a summary statistic that represent the center point or typical value of the data set okay so basically we have a data so the central tendency is what the center point or we can say that the typical value of the data set okay we can use for an data and now dekho hamare paas ek data hai bahut sara theek hai ab mere ko us data ka ek value jo hai wo mere ko use karna hai kisi calculation mein i wants to do i wants to take our <coughs> Date, I want to take a value for calculation purpose. So we can take one value, either it is mean, mode, median. Hai na? So jeko, for example, if a batsman played 1000 matches and he score 5000 runs in 1000 matches, or we can say that in 100 matches, he scores 500, 500 runs, okay? Or 5000 runs. So if I want to know, कि 
एवरेज ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर बैट्समैन इज वॉट सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू डिवाइड दैट नंबर ऑफ रन अपॉन नंबर ऑफ मैचेस राइट सो इट विल बी फिफ्टी इज द एवरेज सो दिस इज द सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर डेटा ओके ओके सो दैट एवरेज इज ऑल्सो नोन एज मीन मीन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज वॉट एवरेज ठीक है ओके इन स्टेटिस्टिक द थ्री मोस्ट कॉमन मेजर ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी आर मीन मीडियम एंड मोड ईच ऑफ दीज मेजर कैलकुलेट द लोकेशन ऑफ द सेंट्रल पॉइंट यूजिंग अ डिफरेंट मेथड ओके वी कैन फाइंड मीन मीडियम एंड मोड विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिफरेंट मेथड ओके ओके सो फर्स्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट मीन ओके सो सी मीन इज ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स जोमेट्रिक मीन हार्मोनिक मीन and weighted mean but we are going to learn about simple arithmetic mean in our course we this is there is only arithmetic mean okay now what is it is listen the means represent the average value as i told you in previous slide mean is also known as what average of the data set it can be calculated as a sum of all the values in the data set divide the number of values okay so if we have the data for a batsman score in 10 matches like 10 20 20 30 40 and 50 we can take five matches so if we have the data for five matches like this so if i'm asking for the mean of this data or average of this data so how we do that first of all we have to add these values and it's going to be divided by number of matches how many number of values are there five so we got this one so it will be what 50 plus uh, 30 is 80 80 plus 20 21 20 right upon 5 okay so how much we got 24 runs average per match okay so if we have n observations if we have if there are there are n observations n observations like uh, x1 X two, X three, X four, and so on up to X n. So the value of mean, it can be represented by X bar. It will be what X one plus X two plus X three plus and so on. We have to add them upon total number of observation is n. So this is the formula we are going to use for mean calculation. Are you getting my point? Okay. now see this is the formula when frequency are not there frequency distributions are not there if frequency distributions are there then how we do that let me take some space yes i can do the formula here okay if frequency distribution are there means mean na huh? we come cover mean here okay so what is the meaning of if frequency distribution is given see if there are n observation x1 comma x2 comma x3 comma x4 and so on up to xn with frequencies f1 f2 f3 and so on up to fn respectively so what is the mean now mean becomes what x1 f1 plus x2 f2 plus x3 f3 plus and so on up to xn fn upon f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus and so on up to fn or this quantity can be written as summation see summation is what when we wants to add something you know we want to add okay a series okay so it will be i is from One to n x i f i upon summation i is one to n f i. See, it means what the summation makes addition in a loop. Okay, so it loops means what? First, we take the value of i as one, so it gives x one y x one f one. Then we have to put a summation sign. Summation means plus sign. and after that we have to take the value of i s 2 it gives x 2 f 2 plus then 3 up to what n up to this quantity up to n 
okay same in denominator f1 plus f2 plus f3 up to fn is known as what summation i is equals to 1 to n fi are you getting my point so this is all about what mean if frequency is not given then we can use the formula directly it is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 up to xn upon n and if their corresponding frequencies is given then what we have to do we have to take another formula which is x1 f1 plus x2 f2 plus x3 f3 upon f1 plus f2 plus f3 up to fn okay now median is what median is the middle number middle most value for the data okay so median is the middle value of the data in which the data set is arranged in the ascending order or in the descending order when the data set contains even number of values then the median value of the data set can be found by taking the mean of the middle two values okay okay <clears throat> so what we have to do if we have a data so first of all we have to arrange that data in ascending order or in descending order if first case one case one is what if number of values in data set is odd let we take number of values as n number of values number of values is equals to n so if the number of values in the data set is n so median is what median is n plus 1 by 2th term this is the median of that particular data are you getting my point okay next is what next case second if number of values in data set is even okay where number of values is again n we can take number of values as n so now the median is average of what is the median see let me write down it again see the median is average of n by 2th term and n by 2th plus 1th term we have to take the mean of these two terms are you getting my point okay so what is the formula we have let me write down the formula here okay i can write down the formula here so for case 2 median is n by 2th term the average is what that average of two quantity if we have two numbers a and b so what is the average of that particular two numbers is what a plus b divided by 2 so the median for that particular data is what n by 2th term plus n by 2 plus 1th term upon 2 are you getting my point okay now for this data if we have a data like this yes let me change the color first okay yes now i have to select the pen okay by mistake i select the highlighter yes now it is pen now see if we have the data okay 23 21 18 16 15 13 12 10 9 7 6 5 2 so what we have to do see this is already given in descending order so there is no need to arrange in descending order either you can arrange the data in ascending order or in descending order if the data is already given in either ascending order then or ascending descending order then there is no need to arrange them again so what i can do first of all i have to count how many terms are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 13 so 13 terms are there so as i told you if the number of terms is odd then median is what 13 plus 1 median is what 13 plus 1 upon 2th term so how much it is 7th term so for this data the seventh term is our median okay so this is first second third four five six and seven so if you see 12 is the median of this particular data 
आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ठीक है ओके सो यू कैन डू दिस राइट ओके 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 सो थर्टीन टर्म इज द मीडियम ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर डेटा ओके फेर एनफ ठीक है अच्छा इफ नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स इज इवन मीन्स इफ आई रिमूव दिस टू फ्रॉम दिस डेटा लेट एस एज्यूम इफ आई रिमूव दिस टू फ्रॉम दिस डेटा सो हाउ मेनी टर्म्स आर देयर नाउ ट्वेल्व टर्म्स आर देयर सो वॉट इज द मीडियन फॉर नाउ वॉट इज द मीडियन मीडियन इज वॉट ट्वेल्व बाई मीन ऑफ ट्वेल्व बाई टूथ टर्म प्लस ट्वेल्व बाई टू प्लस वन टर्म अपॉन टू इज दंसर सो ट्वेल्व बाई टूए मतलब सिक्स टर्म प्लस सेवेंथ टर्म अपॉन टू सो यू कैन टेल मी वॉट इज दिक्स टर्म वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स थर्टीन इज दिक्स टर्म एंड ट्वेल्व इज दिक्स टर्म सो थर्टीन प्लस ट्वेल्व बाई टू इज द आंसर राइट सो इफ यू एट थर्टीन एंड ट्वेल्व हाउ मच यू गैट ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई टू सो इट विल बी ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव आंसर इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव इज द मीडियम आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट are you getting this so there are two important point we have to remember if number of terms in a particular data set is even then we have to take the mean of two quantities two terms which is n by 2th term and n by 2th plus 1th term okay are you getting my point and if the number of terms is odd then the median is what n plus 1 by 2th term very simple if the number of term is odd then it is simple right and if number of terms is even then we have to take the average of two median terms middle term basically okay okay now next is mod see mod is very simple mod is what the number which comes frequently which occur frequently in the data set or we can say that the number whose frequency is larger that is the mod okay so if i am talking about the definition of mode the mode represent the frequently occurring value in the data set simple as that okay okay sometimes the data set may contains multiple modes in in some cases it turns contain any mode at all okay so if you see it any data if in any data 5 comes 3 time 4 comes 3 time 3 comes 3 time and so on so in that data there is no mode okay so if we have data like this so we can arrange either it is in ascending order or descending order it is for your convenient okay if you don't want to arrange them there is this is enough fine this is fine so if you see 5 comes 3 times 3 times right 4 comes 2 times 3 come 1 time 2 comes 2 times One comes one time. So if you see five comes more. So five is the mode of this particular data. Mode is what five. Simple as that. Very simple. If you want to find out the mode, it is very simple to calculate. Okay. Got it. Okay. Now move to next question. Now we are going to do some questions. Okay. So first question is find the median, mean, and mode and range. And now the last thing is what range. range of any data range of any data is what maximum value maximum value minus minimum value simple as that so if i want to find out the range of this data maximum is 5 and minimum is 1 so the range is 4 simple as that okay now we have the data okay <clears throat> so first of all i want to find out what mean first thing is what mean if i want to find out mean of this data so mean is what as you know we have to add them all so 13 plus 18 plus 13 plus 14 plus then 13 plus 16 plus 14 plus 21 and plus 13 right upon number of data terms how many number of 
वैल्यूज आर देयर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन सो वी हैव टू डिवाइड दिस बाय दिस क्वांटिटी बाय नाइन ओके सो थर्टीन प्लस एटीन थर्टी वन थर्टी वन प्लस थर्टीन फोर्टी थ्री फोर्टी फोर सॉरी फोर्टी फोर प्लस फोर्टीन फोर्टी एट एंड टेन फिफ्टी एट फिफ्टी एट प्लस थर्टीन सेवेंटी वन राइट सेवेंटी वन प्लस सिक्सटीन सेवेंटी वन प्लस सिक्सटीन एटी सेवन एटी सेवन प्लस फोर्टीन नाइंटी वन एटी सेवन प्लस फोर्टीन इज हंड्रेड एंड वन राइट हंड्रेड एंड वन प्लस ट्वेंटी वन वन ट्वेंटी टू वन ट्वेंटी टू प्लस थर्टीन वन ट्वेंटी टू प्लस थर्टीन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव वन थर्टी फाइव राइट इट विल बी वन थर्टी फाइव बाई नाइन सो इफ यू डिवाइड दिस क्वान्टिटी बाई नाइन हाउ मच यू गॉट हाउ मच यू गॉट इफ यू डिवाइड दिस फिफ्टीन आई थिंक राइट सो द मीन ऑफ दिस डेटा इज वॉट फिफ्टीन ओके नाउ मीडियन सो फॉर मीडियन वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू अरेज दैम आइजर इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर और इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो आई कैन अरेज इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो थर्टीन थर्टीन सी थर्टीन आई कैन टेक थर्टीन फोर टाइम्स थर्टीन कम्स ओके देन फोर्टीन टू टाइम्स Fourteen. Then sixteen one time, right? Then eighteen and twenty one. So as I, as you know, number of terms is odd nine, and the value of n is nine. So the median is what? Median is what? N plus one by twelfth term. Yes or no? So means it will be fifth term is the median. Median is what fifth term. So if you see first seven, two, three, four, five. So fourteen is the median. So median is what fourteen. Got it? Now mod is what I can do mod here. Okay. Mod. Mod. <coughs> yes. so for mod if you see in this data 13 come four times if you able to see this 13 come four times 14 come two times 16 one time 18 one time and 19 one time so as ji i told you the number which whose frequency is larger matlab jo sabse zyada bar aa raha hai right so 13 come more right so answer will be 13 only so the mode for this particular data is what 13 okay so if you see the end range it is also asking for range right so range is what maximum minus minimum so maximum is 19 and minimum is 13 right no 21 are left right na 21 left ho gaya na 21 reh gaya so i have to take 21 also right now the number of terms become 4 13 now let me do it again okay i just make a mistake i just forgot to take 21 right so i have to remove this and i have to draw this again okay and 21 reh gaya na apna by mistake koi baat nahi na dobara kar lete hain we can do it again okay no problem okay so if you see and a mode sahi hai median mein sahi nikala hai bas mean humne sahi nikala hai We done a mistake for median, है ना अब देखो दोबारा ना सो नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स कितनी है अब देखो नाइन है ना अभी भी नाइन है ठीक है आंसर सही है बट हमने यहाँ पे लिखा गलत है आंसर अभी भी देखो नाइन टर्म्स तो अभी भी नाइन ही है ना टर्म्स तो नंबर ऑफ नाइन टर्म्स इज नाइन सो मीडियन अगेन क्या होगा फिफ्थ टर्म होगा तो फिफ्थ टर्म क्या हो जाएगा वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सो मीडियन इज अगेन फोर बट वॉट वी डू अस्टेक वी डन अस्टेक वी कॉन्ट राइट ट्वेंटी वन So, 21 नहीं लिखने से हमारा क्या होगा रेंज में दिक्कत आ जाएगा ना मोड अभी भी कितना होगा 13 होगा मोड इज नाउ आल्सो 13 ओके नाउ रेंज रेंज इज व्हाट मैक्सिमम माइनस मिनिमम सो इट विल बी 21 माइनस थर्टीन ट्वेंटी इज मैक्सिमम एंड 13 इज मिनिमम सो द रेंज इज आल्सो नाउ इज 8 ओके नाउ इफ यू सी दिस क्वेश्चन सोल्यूशन इज देयर ओके this is the data we have so for median what we have to do we have to add them all and divided by 9 so what we get 16 okay 
okay now 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 the median is the middle value so we have to write down in ascending order or if you want to write down that in descending order then you can do it so if you see we can write down all of them in ascending order now number of terms is what nine number of in the list so middle one is what nine plus one divided by two it which is fifth term so fifth number is the median so 14 is the median right and for mode three comes 13 comes three times right so 13 is the mode median is 14 and median is mean is 15 and range is 8 range is what maximum is 21 minimum is 13 and answer is 8 are you getting my point very nice now there are some practice question we have to do them okay so we are going to do them now okay okay so we are going to take one by one okay 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 now first find the mean of first 10 whole numbers so whole numbers are what 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 first question huh? plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 up to 9 they, they are 10 whole numbers right upon 10 so if you add them so 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 5 15 21 28 <coughs> 28 plus 8 28 plus 8 is what 36 right 36 plus 9 is what 45 by 10 so the answer for first question is 5.5 okay now find the mean of first five prime numbers you can do it this question by your own okay this is for your homework i can tell you which are the prime numbers we have to add two one is not prime number neither composite number two three five seven and nine 9 is not the prime number 11. So we have to add this number and divide by 5 is the answer. Okay. Now you can do this home question as your homework. Okay. This is also for your homework. Okay. Now <clears throat> the following observation are, assigned, are arranged in an ascending order. The median of this data is 25. So then find the value of x. This is good question. Okay. Now see, we have the data are already in ascending order right so the data is what 17 comma x comma 24 comma x plus 7 comma 35 comma 36 comma 46 now the median is given median of this particular data median is what 25 now number of terms is what 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 number of terms is 7 so median is what if number of terms is odd so the median is what n plus 1 divided by 2 right is the median so median is what 7 plus 1 divided by 2th term isn't it so according to this data median is what 7 plus 1 divided by 2 means fourth term is the median means 1 2 3 4 this one is the median x plus 7 is the median now in the question it is given that this quantity is equal to what 25 so the value of x is what 25 minus 7 so if you solve this the value of x you will got as 18 so 18 is our required answer if you see 18 is our required answer 4.5 is for fifth first one and 18 for the this one okay okay so you can do this question like that okay okay very nice very nice very nice very nice okay so this is all about this part in this part we learn about the most three parts which is mean mode median these are very important because mean mode median are also comes in class 10 okay okay so this is all about for today's lecture okay so you can do the questions from ncrt okay okay so thank you so much stay safe and enjoy see you in the next lecture bye